Curtis wanted to hide this from me. I don't think he viewed it that way. <laughs> How then? I think he wanted to protect you while he sorted through his feelings. So Curtis wasn't sure which one of us he wanted. That's not what I said. You didn't have to. None of it matters anymore. I'm out of the picture. And whose choice was that? I hope you find what you're searching for here, Curtis. And I hope you and Portia can be happy, whether it's together or apart. And you? I have to truly let go. Finally. Two years was too long to put my life on hold. I can't wait a minute more. Jordan. Who walked away? Was it you or was it Curtis? Why don't you grab us two mimosas and then you can tell me all about your plan. All right. Oh, breakfast can you eat? Yeah, well, whatever you want. Just, you know what? Why don't you go to the bar downstairs because the one up here is super slow. You know, I try not to question freebies, but why do I get the distinct feeling you are trying to get rid of me? Because I am. Beat it. IT whiz kid. But even I know you can't pinpoint an exact location by room. Can with the right tracking apps. Uh, and you hacked into my phone and installed one? I didn't need to, Gladys. You did it for me. Take it from me. Don't overanalyze what happens during a separation. You'll drive yourself crazy. Well, at least you don't have to worry about an ex-wife still pining for your husband. Your husband would have never kissed me if you had just taken my advice and told him the truth before the wedding. So who are you really mad at here, Portia? Me? Curtis? Or are you mad at yourself? Everybody's human, even parents. That's true. We all make mistakes. But out of my three parents, only one of them has kept their marriage vows. My dad, Marcus Taggart. And he's not perfect. <laughs> and he has not made the best choices. But he's a great example of fidelity and forgiveness. I want to be that for you too, Trina. Not off to a great start. Can't we do that and plan a family? Eventually, after some time. I can give you time. Come on, Maxie Jones. You know I can read your mind. You are thinking exactly what I'm thinking. Fine. I think what Cody feels for Sasha is more than friendship. What are you talking about? 14,000 steps and eight flights of stairs the day the nurses bought. I mean, that's, that's pretty impressive, wouldn't you say, Cody? Very, very. How many miles is that? Oh, uh, just over seven. I mean, given that Gladys' average stride length is between 2.1 and 2.5 feet. Yeah. What is this? Oh, it's the metadata from your favorite fitness tracking app. You know, the one you use to, to map your walks? Now, Mr. Spinelli, uh, uh, could an app like that place a user, say, I don't know, in a dressing room near a certain jacket? You know, geospatial metadata is surprisingly advanced. It, it can pinpoint exact latitude and longitude coordinates complete with geotagging and timestamps. Huh. You know what that is, Gladys? That's nerd. For gotcha. General Hospital. No way this could blow back on my mom, is there? And you thought that was a good idea? Why? That'll get you absolutely nowhere. There are details of play here that are best kept on the DL. Are you suggesting that Ned fell on purpose? You couldn't be more wrong. How do you plead? 